Hi, I'm Lanita Medina from Camden, Maine. And today I'm going to bring you the zoo page because it's scrapbooking with Lanita time. That's always a fun time. And sometimes you feel like in you're in a zoo or you live in a zoo or you go to the zoo. So this is so perfect for all of those. And I do have a few of the mats so that I can show you how fun it is to put pictures on it. I guess I left the pictures out somewhere else, but it's okay. You can see here that you could easily put some very fun pictures with the little animals still over, still in their place, but over the mats. So that makes it very fun. Now, the other fun part about this page is that, first of all, thank you, Nancy Harlow, for sharing this with me. Uh, uh, these stickers are called What is Zoo 2 Embellishments? Now, these came, first of all, when you bought the zoo collection, which I'm going to say it's a couple of years ago. And then, as advisors, we were able to buy them in the exclusive advisor section. So I've had a lot of people ask me, how do you use these? And I mean, this was just the perfect opportunity because these are around, I show them to people, but I had not used them. So that's why I'm very, very excited to use them today. Now, the other thing about these is if you have an advisor, you'll want to ask, um, ask them about it, or I will have these in my discontinued section because that's the only way some of you may be able to get them unless you reach out directly to me, which is fine also. They just won't be on my regular Creative Memories website. So I'll post those on my discontinued site, scrapbookingwithlanita.com, and let's get started. Super, super easy page. That's another reason I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm using paper from the What A Zoo 2. This is the animal track paper here, and I'm only gonna make one side. Since I already have two sides made, you can see all the sides, the four sides, the two sides, however you want to call it. But I wanna point out that this totally tonal beige works so well with it too. Uh, this is totally tonal beige, beige, this is, and then this is the animal tracks. How fun is that? Okay, so that's that part. Here's the, here's the other side that I use, and that's from the beige. Okay. All right, now this brown part here is from the What Is 2. You can use regular brown cardstock, but I like the look of this. And then the punch here is the Sunshine Arches. So if you haven't used that for a while, just pull it on out, and let's get ready to do some cropping time here or scrapbooking quick easy scrapbooking all right i already punched one out for this so i'm going to go ahead and punch the other one out because i'm just going to do two and the quickest way if you have to do two is just to do one side flip it over and do the other side and then just cut them at once that way you're not back and forth with border maker cartridge border maker system and then the trimmer and then back again now, this is not something I would actually recommend punching on top of this, especially when it's puffy, but I started just now doing it and realized, oops, I probably shouldn't have done that because it makes it a little uneven because this stuff, you know, you want it on an even surface. So I'm going to push it down and get to a bit to get this last piece. There we go. All right, and then I do like to punch on it, something so that it grabs the scraps, dump them right away, and then I'm ready to go. I'm going to put this piece aside, and that way I'll have a clear surface. Then this measurement is about one and a fourth. I'm going to say about, yep. Yeah, so the little arches, you want them at one and a fourth, right there. And that looks good on that side. And then turn and one and a fourth on this side. All right, so that makes it easy there. Now that I have my trimmer out, I'm going to cut the strip here. And that is 
a two inch strip. You can make it a little less if you don't have quite enough. These are the measurements and what I used. And this one that I'm using is from the Totally Tonal. All right, so there you go at two inches. This one may be a little shorter. No, nope, it looks good. And now it's time to build. So quick, easy, and just go ahead and put your adhesive on. What do you think? Are you excited about it? Now I showed this at the retreat that I just came back from yesterday in Freeport and it was just the reaction that I had when I saw this. A uh, couple of things. Oh, I didn't realize we had what these stickers were for. I saw them on your table over there, your selling table, but I had not used these before or even seen them. And then the other person was like, oh my goodness, this is such a perfect zoo page. I want these. And um, so, yeah, so you can see that it's just very, very, oh, also they are, they are puffy and they feel so soft. Whoever you give this page to or make it for, it's just going to be a favorite page. So I am going to do, uh, you know what? I am going to duplicate this page so that I have two matching pages. So I will set, so this is what I'm going to make on this side, okay? Because I am not going to make both of them. So I'm going to make just exa this exact one so you can see how easy it is. All right, it will use most of these stickers, not on one side, but on both sides. Okay. Uh, this is, these are like eight, the, you know, the monkeys, the hanging ones. And of course, that one is stray. These are more water ones animals these are uh this type of animal and these are more like the penguin the polar bear and and of course there's some other random ones in there too but you can do whatever you want so look like i said look how many you have i'm gonna start with what a zoo over here and they are just simply super easy to put on and you'll you'll like i said you'll feel them they just feel so so good the little gorilla over here, uh, the little monkey hanging over here, another little monkey from up top here. Oh my goodness, isn't this so fun? The camel, you know, that can be over here. Uh, let's see, right over there is good. Want some room for pictures here for sure. The little koala. Uh, let's see what I may. Oh, there are some nice fun hearts here too. So I will follow the little pattern of what I have here. So a little brown heart over here on this corner. And then the parrot or parakeet. That can be right there. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to move down with a little paws. This paw right here. So bear paws or you know whatever you want it to be and then this is one of my favorites the running ostrich <laughs> how fun that the ostrich is just running and then there's all these little tracks to put behind it don't you love it i love this page so thank you nancy for sharing it with me and for letting me share it here and play with it a little bit play with the colors not much tweaking but just a little bit you know you can always add your flavor to the pages okay so this is more of an erratic run it looks like but that is okay you can do whatever you want oh the bananas gotta put the bananas on there yeah because this gorilla needs some food there surround the gorilla with bananas there and that my friends is how easy i can't get this piece off of there it's bugging me how easy it is to make this so 
I am going to say, like I said, duplicate this page. So put it here, put it here, and then you have your set. Because this, this is the one that I just made. Are they kind of the same? So the rest, most of the rest of these are going to go on this side. Isn't that so fun? All right, but I won't make it because you already know how to do this. I want to show you the mats again. Just to finish it off with mats. And I noticed that these stickers, once you put them down, they can, they can come up if you want to... You know do something like this or like that you can do, you can actually lift them up a bit so i think i because i put the tracks a little high maybe i'll just put it this way this time yeah there we go put one of the little tracks on it and then another one here maybe that's how i had the other one i think i did have the other one that way i wanted one up and down but uh the nice thing about this is that you can use this, the big square, this is a four and a half by four and a half, right? So you can use big square pictures, tuck it under. See how it's just really easy to tuck it? And there you go. All right, so have fun with these, this zoo page. Now you know how to make it. And thank you for watching Scrapbooking with Anita. Have fun scrapbooking and happy holidays that are coming up soon. Oh, this needs to be straighter. I'm looking through the camera now. Can I straighten that out a little bit? There we go. Oh, I did want to say that the stickers that come in the Wadazoo match these. The only thing is these are bigger than these. So notice that they have, see, there's the lion. In fact, there's a good match. If you wanted to make something with um, the stickers and these, it, these are perfect. You can see the perfect match. In fact, I may do something like that later, but look at the giraffe. See the giraffe? It's just a perfect match to smaller. So you could do something very fun like this with parent-child thing or something like that that would be fun or the shadow of it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.